Back, Studio 701, and we have a special glow up for all the guys out there. We're going to learn how to properly tie a tie in today's glow up, brought to you by Keller Hearth and Home. Uh, Michael is with Alex Dahl of Halberstead. Thanks for being here, Alex. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. Indeed, yeah. This is a great day today. We are talking about men's fashion, and I actually just swapped out for one of Halbert Sads's awesome coats here. I couldn't resist. And Alex, uh, we're talking ties, and so I know for a lot of fellas out there, maybe a tie isn't the normal thing that you're wearing um, for work or for play or whatnot, but you know what? Every girl's crazy about a sharp dress man, as they say, right? <laughs> yep, a tie always elevates the outfit. So. so why don't we pick a tie here? You got some great examples here from your store. And uh, let's tie a tie, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. We'll let you pick out which tie you're gravitating towards. All and, right. Uh, well, I definitely, I don't know if it quite matches what I'm wearing here, but I do really like this, this blue one here. I think that box, that's a good choice. Let, so let's do this. Let's do, do this. Let's yeah. do this tie. Yeah, show right. me the way here. Perfect. So let's have you, we'll have you put your uh, collar up there, Michael. Okay. And uh, so we're just going to tie... The easiest knot, it's called the four in hand. It's going to require the least amount of movements. There's certainly more than more ties or more ways to tie a tie than I actually know how myself. Um, but a uh, good starting point is you're going to want the widest part um, is going to be the longer part. About halfway down is a good starting point. If a guy's maybe taller, you might want to make it light, um, longer or vice versa if they're shorter. We're going to kind of start right here. So what we're going to do is take the wider end, we're going to crisscross. Going to bring it through the back, and then now we're going to create that loop. Biggest thing is keep that nice and tight the whole way through. Don't make it loose. And then we're going to come through the back, and then that loop that we've created, we're going to put the end of the tie through. And now here's the fun part. You can kind of shape it if you want to add a dimple like that. Cinch that up, make it nice and tight. We're going to take the back end all the way through. We'll fix Michael's collar here, and then I'm going to let him button up the jacket so everyone can see how that looks. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty, pretty spiffy here. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, see, see that smile? This is, this is the smile of dressing nice and feeling good. Yeah, that looks great, man. Yeah. So Alex at Halbert Sads, I would say Halbert Sads is definitely the, uh, one of the premier men's clothing in the state of New York here. I mean, I'm sorry, not New York. This is North Dakota. Maybe New York. <laughs> yeah, you maybe. Never know. I, I'm thinking I'm putting on <laughs> menswear and I'm thinking I'm in the, in the big city now. Tell us what else do you guys have to offer uh, at your store? Sure. So we're primarily known as a suit store, but we have a lot more to offer than that. So if you've never been in, I did bring some sample options. Um, just, uh, you know, some casual sport coats like you've got on. Yeah. Um, layering pieces. Polos, t-shirts, a lot of clothing is going into more performance. So fabric is huge, fit is huge, but we carry denim, yeah. casual pants, shoes. We're really a full service men's store. We do, do offer alterations as well. So yeah. um, I think we have everything and it's all unique pieces that you, you can't find anywhere else. Absolutely. So, yep. And I think, let's say we got a big event coming up and um, let, maybe buying a suit is... Uh, not what we're going for. Maybe sure. you guys rent out things like this that we could wear for the for an event. Everything in stores for purchase. Um, honestly, our prices are so reasonable that our it seems funny, but you could purchase a suit for less than you know to rent actually. So, really? Yep. And we can tailor it within a day. And uh, so if it's last minute occasions, we got you covered. So hey, that's a good yeah. thing to know. Why why rent when you can own? You right. Know? Exactly. And Alex, I understand you guys have a new location coming up in the Bismarck area. Yes, correct. We're pretty excited. We're going to be open up in Kirkwood Mall um, uh, this fall. So mm -hmm. moving target date, mid-October, end of October. So coming up next month already. So nice. really excited about that. Just uh, add another store. We'll keep the same location downtown too. Absolutely. Yeah. And you guys have multiple stores here in the state, correct? Yes, there is two in Fargo um, as well. One downtown and then one in the shopping center too. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's fantastic. How do I look out there, guys? You look great, man. I feel better, you know? So, Alex, let me ask you this. Why would you say that, uh, you know, men's fashion is just as important as, as women's fashion? Um, well, a lot of what we do for more formal events is weddings. So, mm -hmm. obviously, the, you know, gal's getting the dress. The suit is just as important to distinguish yourself. It's something that you can remember the day by. Yeah. You want to make sure that the guy is, you know, equally as dressed up as the gal. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I think it's equally as important, important, even though maybe that's not how in everybody's eyes what they see. But yeah. guy definitely should know how to dress, know how to tie a tie. Um, 
it's, it's an important thing that I think everybody should definitely know. Yeah, well, and you know with a suit, especially a men's suit, we can re we re-wear this for different uh, occasions and over and over. Unlike, let's say, like ladies' dresses, you know, they're always struggling because, like, oh, I already wore that out. Exactly. I can't wear it again. Yep. The benefit is you get a nice dark suit. You maybe try change out the tie. Maybe yeah. you change out the shirt. But it really makes it a lot more versatile um, yeah. for the guys. So you can get a lot more use out of it. So let me ask you this. I know that tie fashion in 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 uh, specifically changes from time to time. This is from I don't know ten years ago. And I think it's a nice tie, but it's a little wider and it's silk. I notice you might have a, a skinnier, uh, more like a cloth tie on. So can you touch on what is in fashion now when it comes to, to ties? Sure. And I did bring kind of an array of a few different ties, widths, fabrics. So you're definitely right, Jeff. Um, I mean, the tie you've got is uh, probably about the same width as what Michael's wearing. Mm -hmm. That's about three and a half at the widest point. That's about as wide as you really want to go. Typically, rule of thumb is match the width of the tie um, with the width of the lapel. So you've got a narrower lapel, oh, really? go with the skinnier tie. Um, so that's kind of something to keep in mind. Um, but yep, you're exactly right. Since we're into fall now, September 1st, I figured I would do more of a cotton tie, a little more texture to it. Yeah. Um, we do some floral ties. This is where you can really, um, you know, add something, some color, different fabrics, play around with it. But um, kind of your average is about three inches in width. They can go a little narrower and then they can go slightly wider. So it's really can be personal preference. Yeah. Um, to me, I wear a few different widths. So it's not like I just stick to one. Yeah. And then I need you to rate my tie job. <laughs> I'm liking that. We said the half Windsor. It's silk. It's got a little color. The half Windsor. Yep. It's not under my collar. That's just no. Nope, yep, <laughs> but I think it. overall the tie tying is good. Maybe we'll make it a little longer and add a dimple and throw a coat on, and we're off to the races. It might. It, it's not quite to my belly button. But, You're sitting, you know, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, we're good. It, it, again, it's just for TV. I, I do know how to tie a tie. I want everybody to know that. So don't don't feel bad for me like I never learned. Hey, Jeff, you look great over there, man. <laughs> and you guys look great, too. Alex, thanks for joining us today, man. We really do appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, appreciate you having me. Absolutely. And thanks to Keller Hearth and Home uh, for this glow-up segment. For more information, you can visit halberstedsbismarck.com. Stop by their location uh, on Main Street in Bismarck. And then looks like in the mid to end of October, you can stop down at their, the Kirkwood Mall. All right, coming up next, Papa's Pumpkin Patch has been providing us with pumpkins for more than 30 years, and that's not going to change. Corey will join us to let us know what to expect this season that's coming up.